Do it fast. This is the night of the broken glass. But trust me, this is only the start. This will lead generations of broken hearts. Hurry, break his legs so he won't have to go. No, 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 just hide him in the floor and don't let them know. I heard many had hit their things. Some even fled to Beijing, but what now? What for us? All we can say is, in God we trust. I'm sure things will get better, but I'm going to need more than a sweater for this stormy weather because my sister Sheila, they cut all, cut all her hair. But she's just a girl, though, that doesn't seem fair. And why are they taking that woman's baby? They took the baby to the roof, are they crazy? I was so nervous, my, my heart began to pound. All I heard was, shoot it, before it hits the ground. Pain and tears were all around, but crying and screaming were the only sound. We had not bathed in months, had us making trenches. They made sure to keep us inside with barbed wire fences. One woman was pregnant, an old woman beside her. The pregnant woman was a hard worker, really a fighter, but they tied up her legs and her baby died inside her. That old woman tried, but she was a little slack. She had taken a shower one day and never came back. Usually we were making metal and putting it in stashes. Went outside, thought it was snowing, but it was just ashes. Six people were standing in the line outside in the middle of the town, ready, ashes, ashes, boom. They all fell down. It was not much later until we were free. Tried to find my friends, but they were all dirt and debris. Cursed and diseased, hurt and displeased. Weak from 10 years of no food, we can barely stand. We'll take Zionism, just give us the land. It'll be a problem if you split the land in two, but now ask yourself, what have your people been through? My people. 